Hey, good morning or afternoon, everyone. Uh, my name is Steve Turner. I'm the business development manager at Streakwave for all things voice and video conferencing products. And want to welcome you to the webinar. I want to introduce you to Epigee and to my uh, longtime cohort, M Mario Cueo, who's the president over there. Um, this is a PBX that I've had experience with now for probably, wow, 12 years, 10 years. Um, good solid product, and we're ha excited at Streakwave to bring it to our lineup. Um, it works flawlessly with any of the phone models that we carry in, on our site, and uh, so we, we're excited to have this tool in our toolbox and, and bringing it to you to show you what you can do with it. So for um, the ongoing presentation, I'm going to introduce you. This is Mario, and Mario, you can take it away. All right. Thank you, Steve. And thanks, Angela. And thanks for everyone for participating today. I have a, a 15, 16 slide presentation, uh, short and sweet, so to speak, to give you an introduction about APG. If you have any questions, you can post them uh, on the chat and, and Angela will, will um, address them to me throughout the presentation or at the end. So uh, thanks again for joining us. And here we go. I think you're looking at the slides. Let's go to the first one here. All right, so uh, a little bit about APG. We're an American company uh, with a top-notch development team with most, probably mostly uh, tech-weighted and sales and marketing-weighted over the years. That's just the way that, that this company was organized over 22 years ago. So we design all the products from the ground up. We're about 35 employees, 30, 35 employees in three different locations. Uh, we have our headquarters in Orlando, Florida, we have an office in Dallas, and we also have um, most of the rest of the people in Yerevan, uh, in Armenia, which is a, a wholly owned subsidiary of EPG called EPG Arm AM since inception. So everything is based on proprietary software and hardware. Everything was done from the ground up uh, back in the year 2000 when we started. So it is not based on open source asterisk uh, with added on modules. So that gives us the ability to control and modify the software, add features, et cetera, a lot easier than some of the other solutions, which depend on an open source module to be able to do that. Uh, so we started shipping PBX on gateway appliances when we started. And about uh, four years ago, we started doing uh, cloud uh, services too. And I'm gonna be able to talk about both. Uh, obviously here today, a streetway of a distributor of EPG uh, has stock of all our uh, on-prem devices. Uh, which is a focus of, of what we want to present today. Um, and then on the cloud services, uh, we do have a couple of services I'll mention in a little bit here. So we focus initially focus on the small to medium enterprise, but as time passed, we grew into enterprise products. Uh, we introduced some high-end PBX, as I'll mention in a little bit. And uh, uh, so right now, everything has found out from SMB to all the way to the enterprise, and then uh, focusing on certain verticals, you know, contact centers, hospitality, health, educational institutions, uh, government, multi-site, and there's certain feature sets that we have on the product that are suitable for some of those verticals. So, and I'll touch a little bit on some of them, uh, but um, uh, I, so pretty much the, the fan of the opportunities that we have is, is very wide. And we do uh, some leverage the expertise that we have in development, and then we provide some uh, software hardware development services to some third-party companies in the space. Some of them are carriers, some of them are uh, manufacturers. Uh, we don't do that as a mainstream business. It's just available for people uh, who may need services like that. And then we have some of these uh, awards over the years through the IT Expo. I just put some of the icons in here. Uh, well, uh, we have participated on the IT Expo for, for many, many years. So what is our advantage? Uh, well, these products are mature and they're good quality. So this is not something new. We've been doing this for 22 years and that is our focus. Uh, and, and that's it, you know, after you got all that experience, you know, you're expected to have something that is, is solid. Uh, software maintenance, you don't have to pay uh, any maintenance fees. You just register in our support portal and you can get free software updates on all the products for life. So you don't have to pay a maintenance fee. We have a very good technical support team. It's one of the differentiators that we have among uh, uh, to some of the other competitors. Uh, this is a very personalized uh, company. We feel that 
you're using our product, we want to make sure that, you know, if you got any issues, any questions, any applications, consult with our support team. Uh, a big plus is the freedom to use your own SIP endpoint. We don't manufacture phones. We focus on the the boxes and the PBX on the gateways, and we let the others work on the endpoint. So we never uh, brought in a, a, an APG phone to the mix. What we do is that we get uh, samples from the vendors, you know, Yearlink, Fanbill, uh, Poly, Mitel, uh, you name it, and uh, we uh, test them and we auto configure them and we publish documentation what version of software of the phone with our PBX is the one that you need to use to be able to do that uh, auto configuration. So uh, that is a big advantage because you have the freedom to use that endpoint. You're not stuck with us forcing you to use our own device. Uh, the best of both worlds, you know, we got cloud and on-premise uh, PBX products. So it's the same GUI, the same configuration. So if you're into your appliance uh, business and you want to explore the cloud one day, then it will be easy for you. It's the same, the same products and, and vice versa. Um, and then what we call an enhanced ecosystem, you know, these products have grown today to have pretty much all of the features embedded on the, on the box. And, you know, uh, uh, and there are actually so many of them and most of the people are going to use a subset of those that the next enhancement is, okay, how are I going to be able to integrate with other applications? And I call it an enhanced ecosystem and list of some items in here just to illustrate. But for example, we work with MS Teams. Uh, you can connect to MS Teams extensions and you can have those user trunks on the PBX without paying any license to EPG. It is available on the software. You will have to satisfy requirements on the Microsoft side uh, for you know phone control and some of the versions, uh, but that is on the Microsoft side. But the gist of it is that if you want to connect to Teams, you can do that with us. It is not a Microsoft sanctioned uh, connectivity. Uh, you know, we're not officially certified by Microsoft on Teams, but it works very well. Uh, we also have integration with CRM, such as uh, VTiger and Salesforce uh, on the cloud. Some people want to use that. We have uh, connections to the hospitality PMS systems um, out there in the market. We don't do that directly to the PMS systems uh, for hotels. We do that through a connector. Uh, from two companies, Tiger TMS and Char, which provide a connector middleware software that will let you connect the PBX uh, to a, pretty much any PMS out there if you're working in the hospitality industry. Uh, we also have integrated WebRTC in some of the products in the cloud and on the higher end PBXs. You can actually receive uh, WebRTC calls uh, from the internet and then terminate them on extension. So, uh, this facilitates people that want to play in that arena. They want to be able to have uh, connections on their websites via WebRTC for the customers to dial in and talk to either sales or support or, or whatever. So uh, that is available. And uh, have, uh, for example, an option for Chrome click to dial. If you uh, use Chrome as a browser, you can put a, an, an add-on on Chrome where you can actually move your mouse around any browser page and once you see a phone, a pop-up window shows up to be able to do a click to dial to that to that destination number. So uh, we also have tested many uh, Citron providers that we have listed on our website on the right TSP partners. Uh, recently we added one called Clearfly and uh, I already mentioned about uh, many SIP phones. So uh, the gist of it is, is that not only you get a PBX, but you have all of these uh, uh, integrations with other solutions to be able to enhance the ecosystem. Hey Mario, before you move pages, I uh, just want to quickly kind of tap on that fourth um, bullet point there. We did say in the original you know, opening of the presentation that this is all proprietary software, but that does not mean, I just want to be clear, it does not mean that the, you have to have proprietary phone configurations or anything like that. Any SIP phone that is built for open standard SIP qualifications will work. And moreover than that, there's a very long list of, you know, certified uh, interoperability tested devices on FG's website, uh, Yealink, Snome, you know, Grandstream, many others um, are all on there that that are auto provisionable through the system because they've done the interoperability testing. So I just wanted to be clear that the software is not 
open source or open. It's configured and maintained and controlled by Epigee, but the endpoint usage is quite wide and varied. So don't get those two confused. Yeah, thank you for clarifying that. And and uh, and uh, at the end of what it is is that is that we push the configuration template into the phone, and the gist of it is is that the user doesn't have to open the phone GUI and configure anything. I mean, if you want to do advanced topics on the phone, you have to do that. But but for most of the people, they don't need they don't need to uh, to do that part. And if you want to use OpenVPN as an option for configuring, you can do that too with the phones that support it. Okay. So uh, next in here. Uh, okay, we're going to talk about our appliances. Uh, so on the PBX appliances, this is a, like a general slide. These are devices, uh, anything from 12 to 5,000 extensions. The, the way that we sell the product is that you buy the appliance with a basic uh, number of extensions and the concurrent call capacity of the appliance comes on the base unit. You know, so you don't have to buy for concurrency of calls or for trunks or anything like that. You get the maximum on the base unit. We just give you a certain number of extensions on the base unit, and then you add licenses to add more extensions. That's the way that we sell the product. So you have a, a, a wide selection of appliances, anything from 12 to 5,000 extensions. Uh, some of the models support traditional telephones, uh, analog telephone through FXS ports. And some of them have FXO ports for PSTN trunks, but all of them support SIP trunks and uh, SIP uh, endpoints. So you have uh, some models that are hybrid for people that need that uh, that capability. Uh, pretty much the complete feature set comes in the base device, but we do sell some advanced uh, licenses. For example, besides the extensions, uh, call center functionality, a call recording functionality, um, receptionist console, uh, audio, video conferencing options. Uh, some of those are licensable, okay? Uh, the licensed uh, products are permanent. So they're essentially activate functionality on the appliance. So you buy one time, you don't have to renew it, except uh, two licenses that we have that have a renewal fee. Uh, but mo all the other licenses are permanent on the device and pretty much uh, fixed to the device. They're really not transferable. So if you buy a license for a QX50, you cannot go back and transfer that to a QX200 because we have essentially permanently activated a functionality that is embedded on the system with a license. Uh, we already mentioned about the auto configuration of, of the phones. Uh, some of the products, especially the low-end devices, the 20, the 50, the 200, uh, I, I usually say that one third of that appliance is a network device uh, and two thirds is a PBX. Uh, so there is a firewall, uh, router, uh, DACP server embedded in the device. So if you're in a small company, five or six uh, PCs, you can connect our PBX directly to the broadband connection with a WAN port and there's a, an internal LAN port that lets you connect your computers and your phones and you can activate our firewall and use that functionality. So uh, many small businesses use that. Now in the middle to high end products, uh, you don't do that. You wanna have a, you know, a, a professional router installed on the organization, but for the smaller end installations, uh, you can do that. And in that, context there's some security functions on the product the most notable one is this SIP IDS intrusion detection which is uh, you activate and essentially people that are trying to hack into the system either uh, make throttling calls or they want to make throttling registrations of extensions uh, it will block it off automatically after so many attempts and you have to go over there in the system and see if it was blocked and unblock it if you want to or just leave it there and and be surprised nowadays uh, how much of that is happening. So um, these security uh, options, including also security audit that we have on the on the product, helps you make the configuration more robust to protect you more uh, against uh, these uh, activities that are happening on the internet on a daily basis. Uh, the devices are compact, modular, and they're low power consumption. Uh, so these are small little metal boxes with embedded power supply, uh, AC power supply inside, and little, they're very modular. You can stack them 
uh, on a uh, rack kit that we have. It essentially lets you put uh, as many as four of these modules into a 1U format and put it on a rack. Uh, it becomes in handy when you're combining PBXs either uh, for redundancy or for uh, with gateways. Okay, so we have that option now. In the redundancy that I just mentioned, uh, we have two things in there. There's a power redundancy, and in this appliance, as either gives you a five volt additional input to connect an external, um, actually phone power supply, and have redundant power, either AC or five volts. And if one of them fails, you get power from the other. Or in some models, there's a 12 volt cable connecting between them that they can supply power to each other's unit. So there's some power redundancy embedded in, in the system. And we also have a functionality redundancy, which is very interesting. A lot of people like that, especially on the higher installations where you have uh, more extensions. And the way that it works is that you buy uh, a master device, you activate any functionality license that you need in that device, and then you buy a slave device, and then you activate redundancy between them. And they're both operating in a master slave uh, uh, mode, synchronized uh, between themselves. If the master fails, the redundant takes over, the phones are, are moved over to the redundant unit, and you continue operating. So this is essentially to mitigate a, a hardware failure uh, uh, on the system. Okay. All right. Uh, now, I got two slides with the appliances here, uh, but essentially the low end is a QX20. Um, I'm not going to cover pricing here. I'm just going to mention that the QX20 retails for $385 to the end user. Of course, you as a reseller uh, will get a discount from Streetway, but it's a, it's a very economical entry-level device with 12 extensions, six simultaneous calls. And most of these units have either a regular SD slot or a micro SD slot for memory expansion. They come with two gigabytes of memory inside for voicemails, greetings, and things like that. But you can also add additional memory with an SD card for if you want to do more call recording, if you want to have additional music on hold or music on hold playlists and things like that that consume memory. Um, uh, you have that option. And um, these products are expandable. For example, the 20 goes from 12 to 32 extensions. And then from that point on, the 50 and the 200, of course, increase in the number of extensions and the number of concurrent uh, calls uh, available. Uh, the 50 comes with 16 extensions, expandable to 50. And it gives you 16 external simultaneous calls. That one has two FXS ports. You can see there the connector and two FXO ports. So it's one of the hybrid models. And then it's followed by the 200, which has another two FXO ports. And it starts with 24 extensions expandable to 200. And it also has uh, 64 simultaneous calls. So uh, another thing to mention, there's an audio out uh, analog port there and an audio in. The audio in typically is used for um, music on hold from an analog system but nowadays most of the people use uh, mp3 uh, or WAV files for music on hold that you can upload to the system you can have mp3 playlist for music on hold where you're let's say on a call record on a on a on a queue for a call center or just when you're putting a, a, a call on hold on your system you can have your own music on hold so uh, the analog in is not that useful anymore but it is there, but the analog out may be connected to an existing paging system. You know, our product allows you to create one or many paging groups, uh, tie extensions to paging or external adapters to paging and create pretty much whatever you want from a paging uh, perspective. All right. Uh, These three models are followed by the top three, the 500, uh, the 3,000 and the 5,000. Now, uh, you notice the 3,000 and the 5,000 on the picture, we're switching to like a, a server type device, and that's exactly what it is. It's a server with uh, with uh, FPG boards inside, a uh, closed system. Uh, you cannot load up any software in there. And um, here we're talking on the 500, starting with 100 extensions, 
uh, the 3,000 starts with 200 and the 5,000 starts with 500. Uh, and now you got a lot more capacity and external simultaneous calls as well as call recording capability, uh, call center capability for agents, supervisors, and so forth. So um, uh, there you have it. It's a, it's a wide uh, fan of uh, appliances to choose from. Now, on our gateways, um, which are, uh, we have four gateway models. The gateways are essentially complementary to, to the PBX. You can use them as a standalone, like you do any other gateway, any grand stream or pattern or whatever. But in our case, uh, if you use it with a PBX, they can be uh, configured from the PBX once you add them uh, to the PBX uh, GUI. Uh, they do have uh, the LAN and the WAN ports. They do have the router firewall integrated. And they also have an integrated auto attendant, uh, which is a little bit unusual for a gateway. But one reason for that is that uh, there's a failover option in our T1 and our FXO gateway where if you have used hosted uh, PBX and uh, you want to have some sort of uh, redundancy on site with either FXO or T1 trunk, you can put our gateway on site. You can register your IP files with your hosted platform, but have a secondary registration on failover with our gateway, which allows phone registrations. And if your broadband or your uh, hosted PBX goes away, you can still make calls outbound through the gateway or have received inbound calls through that port on the gateway. And since we have an auto attendant on the gateway, you can terminate those inbound calls to any extension, or you can do extension to extension calling. So it is it is a failover type of functionality. Uh, we have that capability uh, in the gateway if you need that, okay? All right, and here are the models of the gateways. We have um, a four port FXO, a single uh, T1 or E1 is configurable. Uh, a 24 port FXS, that one is uh, fairly popular. Uh, we see a lot of nursing homes and we see hotels using that gateway. It uses the old uh, telco connector, the RJ21, uh, for the analog phones in the hotel rooms or for the analog phones on the nursing home rooms. Uh, so it's a popular device. And we also have a BRI gateway, ISDM4, we sell it in the uh, European market. All right, so now about the cloud services. Uh, and of course, you all know for the people interested in that, it's it's a, it's a excellent recurring source of revenue uh, for the resellers and, and for us as a vendor also, because you know, you're getting that monthly uh, revenue from that, uh, from those products. And we have two types of services today. We have our ECQX, which is our EPI Cloud PBX, uh, which is a virtualized flavor of what we have on the appliance. And we host that and we offer that. And we also have a monitoring platform uh, called uh, ECMON or EPG Cloud Monitoring. And that one is for administration and monitoring of either the cloud PBXs or the appliances. And, uh, and uh, I think that's something that's gonna be very interesting for you guys who are using on-prem appliances to be able to have that service uh, as a complement. So one of the advantages of our PBX over other solutions is, uh, I mean, it's a solid platform. It is built on what we have done on the appliances. So we got all those 22 years of experience, well, a little bit less than that because we introduced it uh, four years ago. But in any case, it's, it's the same soft, software modified to be able to run on the virtual world. and uh, we run it in our platform redundant. So if you, it is instance-based, it is not multi-tenant. So you order a PBX from us, we activate an instance for you, we give you the credentials for you to log in, and then we run it redundant. There's a, an actual slave device synchronized to your master somewhere else. And if something happens to your master, the slave will take over. So that's the way we're running that uh, service. We got a great support team. Uh, that uh, can help you with uh, configuration and questions related to that. Um, and we also have advanced functions available, not just the basic PBX. Uh, I'll mention uh, that briefly in a second here. The monitoring platform ECMON is also included 
in our hosted uh, PBX. Uh, very competitive pricing uh, uh, for that. I mean, uh, just to give you an idea, uh, you know, our PBX, we go directly through our portal to resellers. Uh, it is a, uh, a $5 an extension a month. Um, so it's very competitive. And of course, we have the appliances that we're talking about. So if you know you you learn one system, uh, you can either run cloud or you can run on premise or a combination of both. You can have a company with part of it on the cloud and some of them with on premise. You can communicate between the two devices, route calls between them as you do your dial plan uh, all day long. So there's uh, that's it's an added benefit. And of course, you already know that you can use your SIP your own SIP endpoint. Uh, you use your trunk. We don't provide trunk termination. We're not a, uh, a, a carrier, so we just give you the PBX and you're free to bring in your old SIM trunk the same way you do that on the on-premise devices. So it's additional freedom for you and your customer to use whomever you want. We're not going to bind you to use our minutes because that's not what we do. Um, already mentioned about the other configure and other products. A lot of the uh, of the uh, cloud people use uh, OpenVPN on the phones, kind of passes through their router and connects to the cloud, and and then or they use our our own soft phone, which I'm going to mention here in a minute. So it is an instance based, and you configure all of that on the GUI. Uh, we do have a, a web portal called epicloud.com, and we give the reseller a, a login account to that. There is a store. You order the instance. You may order some of the extra features. You click in in, uh, in pay uh, or checkout, and then you go to PayPal, where you pay with your credit card on PayPal. It's out of Epigis domain. You pay directly to them, and then you pay on a monthly basis. So today is the 19th. If you subscribe today, we'll charge you from the 19th to the 31st. And then on February 1st, we'll charge you for February and March, April, May, and, 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 and so on. So it is a month-to-month. -month. You cancel any time. There is no setup fee, no maintenance fee, no support fee, no activation fee. That's it. Five bucks an extension, minimum of five extensions, and that's it. You cancel any time. So it doesn't get any better than that as far as flexibility and ability for you to get into the game. Okay. Uh, if you want to try uh, that or any cloud, uh, we got a 30-day uh, free trial uh, for that. Or if you want to try any license of any of the PBX uh, functionalities, uh, we can give you uh, 30 days for free. Just send us a serial number and we'll activate a free demo for you, okay? Hey, Mario, on that yes, uh, on that cloud version, let's talk a minute about the fact that it's instance-based and not multi-tenant. However, because it comes with Epigee Cloud Monitoring System, you have an overall arching monitoring and configuration system that that basically has all the instances in it. So from a single pane of glass, you would look at your entire architecture or your entire set of instances and it and it basically looks or could operate like a multi-tenant architecture. It's just that you would individually um, program and individually uh, manage those instances for individual customers, but you can do it all in one place. So let's not let's not get too worried about the fact that it's not multi-tenant. You're going to order each instance for what that customer's you know slot needs, but the management of it, in essence, can be thought of as multi-tenant because you can see everything and manage everything in collective space. Yes, yes, yes. And it does, you know, there's there's always the argument about the multi-tenant versus the, the instance base. You know, I know the multi-tenant, theoretically, you can have, depending on how good the tool is, the ability to be able to, uh, you know, spin up multiple customers. But then there's also a limitation what can be done in there. I mean, these products nowadays, if you look at the GUI, there's so many options and features that from a multi-tenant perspective, uh, it makes it very hard to be able to manage that uh, at a multi-tenant level. You essentially have to log into the GUI of each individual device to configure these detail functionalities. And, and uh, from a performance perspective, it doesn't really eat that much difference. And in our case, when we host it, I mean, we're going to charge you by an extension. It is our problem that it is not multi-tenant, okay, if, if you want to call it that. But it's very flexible. It is independent. You're not dependent on one piece of software 
that it, that that is uh, that software is running many customers. This is a virtualization only for that customer. You can have different version of the software running on that instance as compared to some of the others. So there's no dependency on one uh, to the other. So there's some advantages in there. Uh, so uh, I don't think it's it, it pretty much a, a, a known issue from our perspective. So uh, the other thing I want to mention about the uh, cloud is that we do have an option for people that want to host their own um, uh, servers and they want to do their own network, you know, like for example, 3CX does. You can you have you 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 run the hoster, you get the software. We have that too, on the on the ECQX. We call it the ISO option. It is not something that we publish on a price list. It is more uh, of a one-to-one -one relationship. How many extensions do you want? Um, you know, and we usually want to start with a certain number of extensions. And it doesn't matter how many instances you spin up. It's, it's going to be based on an extension basis let's say i need 500 extensions and then we're going to invoice that on a on a trimester basis so i don't want to elaborate that on too much it's something that if it's of interest we can discuss it but it is available we have a lot of overseas people that use that model okay now uh there's a portal uh, on the hoster where you can uh these are some icons in the bottom i'm not going to elaborate too much on this but you can activate an instance you can add additional audio conference ports you can add crm integration you can add call center functionality uh, and uh or receptionist so there's a few options on the store for that but most of the people with the basic functionality they have all they need okay sorry about that sorry about that so uh, as far as functions are concerned, um, uh, these are functions applicable to the on-premise and the cloud. I'm not going to go through all of these, but there's some in a darker color just to illustrate. Uh, and I'm just going to mention a couple of them. For example, we have what we call dial uh, notifications. And what it is, is essentially you can have on a school, on a phone, in a classroom, a panic button for the teacher to push. If she pushes or he pushes that button, you can dial uh, in the administrative offices, phones, goes hands-free and play uh, recorded messages. Emergency in room classroom 205, for example, or maybe the principal can have a panic button for tornado on, on his phone. He pushes that and it plays over the paging system uh, warning, there's a tornado warning, you know, go your stations or whatever that is. So that's what we call uh, a dial uh, notification. There's an option of that where you can do a schedule. At 10 o'clock, at you can play a message, automatic message over the paging system, including phones, um, be because paging is not limited to amplifiers or paging adapters. You can include regular phones through their um, uh, hands-free option, the speaker option in a paging group. So you can hear paging on a phone or if you have a SIP camera, a SIP enable camera with a speaker, you can also have uh, use for a paging group, okay? Uh, multiple auto attendants, you can have as many auto attendants as you want with multiple levels. By the way, we do have an, an auto attendant history that you can see there if you have a complicated auto attendant with many uh, ramifications, you can see the history, how people navigate the auto attendant. You may find out that certain path people do not use at all, and then you can modify your auto attendant based on that experience. And you can also use that history if you wanna do a survey. Let's say you're talking sales to somebody, and they say, are you willing to do a survey? Uh, yes, then you can forward them to one of the uh, special auto attendant and based on the messages that you play as, as they push the keys, you get a history feedback on that. And that is essentially the results of a survey. So you can use um, the history for the auto attendant for that purpose. Um, the only, only one that I'll mention is um, parent-child extensions, which is very popular now with COVID. We got a lot of customers that have their desk phone in their office, and then they use our eco uh, soft phone on their laptop, on their Windows, or on their iPhone, or on their Android phone as a child extension to their desk phone. 
and you can have more than one child. You can have several children. So when an incoming call comes into your desk phone, it rings all these phones. You answer the call, whether you're home, a Starbucks, whatever, or you can call from any of these child extensions and it all comes out of your desk extension in your office. So very powerful, very mobile mobility, um, and, uh, and you never lose a call or, you know, if you don't want to use the desk phone, that use the soft phone only, you can do that too. Okay. All right. Uh, and then, uh, this is just saying that for the call center, uh, option that we have in our cloud, we have the combination of those, uh, licenses, uh, uh, ACD console. Uh, actually, that is a very interesting web-based console for people that do call centers for the supervisors and the agents to get statistics, pie charts, uh, all sort of um, manipulate all of the incoming calls to the call center, uh, go, you know, activate the activate agents. Uh, everything that you need on a call center is a web-based GUI uh, that we have available. It's called the EAC. And it can be used in combination with uh, another one called the AOC for outbound outbound calling too. If you want to do outbound call campaigns, we can do that. So uh, I can say that our call center uh, solution is pretty powerful for voice call centers, both inbound and outbound. All right. And now we go into the ECMOM, which is a very interesting uh, cloud solution for you uh, guys that are interested in the on-prem also. Uh, you see the EPG cloud monitoring. It essentially allows you to do configuration management. It allows you to monitor and do alarm reporting for the QX appliance. So uh, it's essentially a tool for the reseller to provide better service to the customer. Uh, if you set it up for different events, for example, a bad quality call to notify you, uh, it goes a long way when you can be alerted to that as a reseller. You know which uh, device it was, you know what extension it was, at what time, to what number, and then you call your customer and say, hey, I'm noticing that you may have had a bad quality call on the, from this extension to this number, this day at this time, let's take a look to see what happened in there. Is to be more proactive uh, servicing your reseller, uh, I'm sorry, your customer, than to wait for the customer to get many bad calls and then they're already a little bit upset by the time they call you, they have a different attitude on the problem. So the idea is uh, to facilitate you as a reseller to see all these devices, see the status of these devices, see what licenses you have on the system, uh, how many phones are registered, uh, when the system rebooted, if it did, um, how many concurrent calls are you having over a period of time. So a lot of valuable information for you as a reseller uh, to service your, your customers. So uh, besides monitoring and, uh, and stats on the device, uh, you can also uh, store uh, and save and restore configurations of your system on the, on the cloud. You can upload configurations on this system and then assign to devices, okay? Or better yet, um, you can actually log in to the appliance remotely. That is very powerful. If you have put an appliance behind the company router at a customer site and you need to go to the GUI, you can open ports and things like that on the router of the customer to get to that appliance. But if we ECMON, we can set up a VPN between the appliance and our cloud and let you from your office go into that GUI remotely make changes and then exit. So very powerful. You don't have to drive to the customer side to be able to do this. Okay. Uh, ECO is our APG soft phone. We introduced it about two, two three years ago. We, it is pretty much considered our only endpoint. Uh, it is our own solution. Uh, before we used to recommend to use, you know, Bria, x Lite, Phone or Lite, and some of these others, which you can still use, but this is our own product, so it, it, it integrates very well with our PBX. It allows multiple um, accounts, uh, multiple uh, calls on an account. 
and uh, it is available for Android, uh, iOS, and Windows. It is a license feature. Uh, we'll sell you a license to activate uh, this on the PBX. In our cloud um, offering, the $5 offering, it comes included with that, okay? But for the PBX, you activate a license for it. And it does have several features. It has several directories, including the PBX directory, uh, your mobile directory. If you have Outlook, you can also, in the Windows version, you can see all those contacts in there. Uh, you can see if there's any voicemail uh, activity, retrieve the voicemail, history of your calls. You can activate presence if you want to do that. Um, if you want to ring, for example, if you're using your headset, like I'm using right now, and I remove my headset and walk away and I get an incoming call, it may ring on my headset and I don't hear it, but you can set up uh, the computer ring to ring uh, for incoming calls. And that way you know that you got to call better run over, answer it and you know put your headset on. So we have that. Um, there's a chat uh, tool to be able to chat among uh, equal users. And we're going to be introducing very soon the ability to be able to do SMS chat with any phone out there, essentially. Uh, from the e-call application. That was going to be a very interesting because that will let you keep a record history, uh, like a CDR, of the chat, the SMS chat in the PBX, including the content. And for example, if you have a sales teams that are chatting with customers with you know WhatsApp or the native chat tool of their mobile phone, with e-call now, you can see who they're chatting with. I have a record of that, you know, customers, for example. So um, multiple SIP accounts and line appearances. You can load up your own logo. So if you want to put your reseller logo on eCall, uh, you can do that. And another nice feature is that he has 20 programmable keys, BLF keys, uh, like you normally have on a desk phone. So these keys can be anything from do not disturb park extensions, wash extensions, general voicemails, uh, day night uh, uh, activation, uh, activate a call recording. So anything that you can do on a BLF key for, let's say, a Yaling phone or a Fanville phone, you're going to be able to do on the e-call. It's a little separate pane that comes on when you click on an icon in there. So very powerful uh, software phone. And uh, there is an option also for a receptionist console. It's a separate pane, lets you group extensions by department, and then she can see the activity on those extensions, intercept calls, place calls, transfer, uh, dial calls, and so forth. Okay. Now we're almost done. Uh, so what are our competitive advantages? This is like a little summary sheet of EPG. Uh, Everything is done in-house, okay? Uh, we don't rely on open source software to put our product together. It is based on open standards, like Steve mentioned, everything based on SIP, but uh, it is done in-house. Uh, we have a lot of experience on this stuff. We've been doing it for 22 years. We're not new at, at this business. Uh, we have an excellent uh, team for great support. Uh, we also do have training, we have videos, we can do webinars, uh, we can do on-site training. Once the COVID thing uh, hopefully dies down, we schedule sometimes in different cities, uh, like a two-day training with equipment, uh, hands-on, uh, very complete. Uh, we're probably gonna do that, start doing that very soon. Uh, integration with all these phone vendors, uh, same thing with SIPTRON providers, uh, no start or cost or long-term contracts if you use them in the cloud. And of course, the best of both worlds, cloud and on-premise. Okay, so we're in the social media, Facebook and all of that. If you wanna try the cloud, let us know. If you wanna try any license, once you obtain any of the system from, from Steve, let us know. And then we have a little promo for you uh, today. Uh, we, if you buy an appliance from Streetwave until the middle of February, the 19th, uh, send us an email with uh, the serial number of the unit you purchase uh, to sales at epg.com. 
put on the heading strict, strict promo and we will give you free ECMON for that device for um, six months. Free ECMON for six months. So you can try the cloud monitoring tool. You'll be pleased with it. And then after that, if you buy it, it's only 20 bucks a year per device, but uh, you'll get it for six months. So um, I encourage you, if you if you uh, are interested in getting an appliance, to uh, send us the email for that promo. Uh, of course, we're available at sales at FEECOM. That's the phone number here, extension one for sales. And we got websites, FEECOM and FEECloud.com, right? So, uh, Steve and Angela, I'm done. Uh, back to you. Awesome. Thanks, Mario. Um, before we get into questions, Steve, did you want to address anything? No, I just want to say thank you, Mario, for doing this, and I hope everybody found value in it. Uh, I think the monitoring tool for six months, if you guys get a unit, or uh, you'll find it to be very useful, and it'll, it'll enhance the way that you uh, manage that customer and um, potentially manage your overall business going forward. I mean, it could be something you land on that, that uh, makes your life a lot easier from a management perspective, not only for ad move change, but for, as Mario said, being notified as problems begin to occur and you can be proactively engaging your customer. And, you know, that's a powerful tool as a reseller part, you know, end user relationship that you, 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 without much effort on your side can, take very good care of your customer. So just keep those things in mind. And um, I'm available for calls. If you guys would need to call and discuss any configurations, uh, any parts you know, to put together, licenses, all that. And if we need to, we'll engage Mario and his team uh, on a larger project basis and, and get those things done as well. So Mario, thanks for your time today. Uh, Angela, do we have any questions? We do have a couple questions, so um, I'm going to go ahead and address that. Um, so the first question I have is, for K through 12, can you program a calendar with automated announcements and bells? You can do that through the uh, schedule notifications. You can you can you can program a calendar for that. Uh, it's uh, uh, I I recommend that you register and support FPGcom. We'll give you reseller access, and then I'll have with uh, free tickets uh, uh, for the support side and then I'll have our team um, point to you where do you do that so yeah you can uh, you can see how it is configured yes great um, the next question here is do you have a list of tested SIP providers on our on our website on their ITSP uh, I think it's called ITSP uh, providers it's a pull down menu there are the ones there that we have tested with yes now uh some of those the, the, some of the list may be a little bit old but we do uh most of those that we tested with there is a wizard when you when you go to the gui to to activate the system there's a wizard unless you a pull down menu and you can pick on those and what it does when you select that system provider is that pre-fills a lot of the information that they need uh, what is common, uh, but yes, the the ones that we tested with are shown in our in our website. The latest that we done is Clearfly, which we did very recently, and uh, but you know we got all many others. They're all in there on the list. Okay. And those are big, those are Angela, real quick. Those, those, yeah, there's a lot, quite a few of the very common players in the market. Flow route and and those kind of guys are all uh, you know part of this group. So and again. Yeah. The, the interoperability testing is also done on the phone side, on the SIP endpoint side. So you'll find all the major phone players in there as well. Um, and potentially if your customer has Cisco phones or Yaling phones or some other, you know, you could reuse those in some cases, you just have to reset them to the, to the yes. new PBX. Yes, yes. And also do there, is there a list of the brands and models? in that uh, yes uh, yes we do and and again i think the best thing is um uh, send me an email actually there is a in our portal uh, knowledge base there's a document you on the uh, you type ip phones there's a document that has all of the phones and the functionality that works on all those phones 
there's probably 150 models in there. Uh, but I can tell you it's, you know, Yelling, Fanville, Snome, uh, Polly, Mitel, uh, Flying Voice, uh, HTEC, you name it. So I think, I think, uh, is 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 a very comprehensive list. So the answer is yes, but I'll be happy to also have support uh, send you that list. So I, I encourage everyone to to register and support APG.com on the registration. Actually, there's a link in our support section on our website, and we'll give you reseller access uh, credentials so that you can uh, get all that documentation and and I get and also uh, uh, support, free support tickets. Awesome. Um, I do not see any other further questions, and I think uh, we can safely say to, that can be a wrap. So I will go ahead and make sure everybody gets a copy of this webinar, and as well as don't forget the promo that is starting today for those of you that are online today. Um, we will also have our reps uh, reach out to you to make sure you get uh, a hold of that that promo. Uh, Mario, Steve, thank you so much for the presentation today and all the attendees as well. So I'm um, looking forward to uh, more webinars in the future. And is there anything else that you wanted to add, Mario? Uh, I just wanted to mention on that, on that topic is uh, that, uh, you know, we got webinars that we can do on the call center if you got interesting parties. If, you know, more de on the EC Mon tool, if you want to get a webinar, how do that work? We can do that. Uh, or, or on the uh, eco soft phone. I mean, a lot of the things are fairly straightforward, but you know, people sometimes want to have a short 15, 20 minute webinar to cover that. We can do that. Uh, you know, to us, it's very important that the, the reseller has the easiest way to understand what they want of this product so that they can focus their time in selling, making their customer happy. We want to be right behind you to help you. We're not the company that says, you know, here's our product, it's the best product in the world, go read all the manuals and you're on your own. We don't we don't feel that way, okay? That's it. All right, and then just, I guess, one more question here. Is the soft, is the soft phone available as a standalone product? The soft phone, the soft phone does not work with any other PBX except EPG, if that is a question. Uh, but you know, I, I mean, it, it is a standalone extension. I mean, instead of buying a, a physical IP phone, you install the soft phone. Okay, so yeah, in in that context, you don't need a desk phone. You can just use a soft phone. But if the question is, can I use EPG soft phone with Grandstream? The answer is no. Got it. All right, awesome. Um, I think that's pretty much it then. Um, again, appreciate your time and everybody else's time. I'm looking forward to um, working together more closely and um, getting some effigy on uh, sale. So thanks, have a great day. Everybody have a great day, stay safe, and hope to see you soon. Thank you. Thanks, Mario. See you all later. Thank you. Bye-bye.